Okay, let's go ahead and look at this uh, problem. And um, I think it's a, a, an important one to look at because it is related to this theorem 2.3. Uh, but it's not exactly the same. Uh, there is a relationship between whether we're, we're dealing with positive uh, odd exponents and what the um, limit outcome is and uh, also the, the direction that we're approaching from. But this is slightly different. This is x minus a, this is x plus two. So it's like an x plus a. So it is a little different. And so I think what we need to do is to um, first consider something easier, which is one over x plus two. And uh, what that'll help us do is to think of what happens as we approach from, from the left, which is this direction. It's a minus sign. Maybe a little confusing if I leave it up there. Uh, if we approach from, from the left, we'll do that. Or if we approach from, from the right, and looking at this example here without the exponent. And then knowing that um, there is obviously gonna be an asymptote at negative two, because if I plug in a negative two, this goes to zero. But let's, let's try to see what happens as you approach from the left first. So if I've got uh, f of negative 2.2, so that's one over uh, negative 2.2 2 plus two. And so that's uh, one over 0 0.2. And uh, this is 2 tenths. So if you do all the, all the right fraction work, you're gonna find out that this is um, the same as one fifth. So this is five. So another way to think about it is there are 5.2s inside one. And then uh, if I plug in a negative 2.1, so I'm approaching negative two from the left, then uh, I'm dealing with two negative 2.1 2 plus two, which is one over 0 0.1 and you get 10. So this is a five, this is a 10. Again, there's an asymptote here, so we know this goes to infinity. Uh, or, or actually, uh, well, we're not quite sure what happens because uh, we don't know if these uh, approach the same thing. If they approach the same thing, then it goes towards infinity or negative infinity. If they approach something different, then uh, there just isn't a a limit. Um, so let's try now to plug in a negative 1.9. Uh, and so 1 over negative 1.9 plus 2 is going to be 1 over, uh, by the way, I believe these are negatives. I just caught that, which makes these negatives, which makes these negatives. Because over here I have 0 0.1 and that would be positive 10. So I was able to catch that. Over here, if I have a negative 1.8, so it's 1 over negative 1.8 plus 2, that's 1 over 0 0.2, which is uh, 5. So this is five, this is 10. So we're approaching, we're, we're getting bigger this way and we're getting bigger this way, but um, by bigger, we're at, what we're actually saying is this is going 
uh, lower and going towards uh, minus infinity. And over here, we're, we're going up, which means we're going towards positive infinity. Now, you're, you're welcome to, to graph this. And uh, what you're going to find is a graph that has an asymptote here, and a graph that has an asymptote here. And it's going to go the, no, it's going, going the other way. It's going to be going this way. And it's going this way. Uh, you can graph it to, to verify that, but this table is also helpful. And then, um, so if, if I multiply this a bunch of times because uh, of the fifth power, uh, then you may begin to see that these just grow more quickly. Uh, towards the infinite side. And so this is still going to be minus infinity. It's just going to get there faster. This is still going to be positive infinity. It's just going to go faster, which means that there is no limit because they're uh, going towards different limits. 